Well, hello. It is already Sunday. So, my slow Saturday was excellent. We had um, a social, uh, in person, slow Saturday social yesterday for the first time in years. The last time we've done it was before COVID. Imagine that. And it was divine. You know what? I realized how much therapy is involved in such a session. It was so much fun. And I really, really enjoyed it so much. So um, I can show off my oh my V-neck T-shirt. Here we go. Um, there's a photo um, that I will share with you where I fitted it yesterday. But um, it will go to my youngest daughter because I wear black always so i like things that go with black and um, she was looking at this with such puppy eyes because it will look so nice with the blue jeans so i decided you know what it's okay you can have it i'll make myself another one because i really like the fit it was such a nice fit love it some people asked me for this colorway the the number of this okay so this the brand is Madame Tricot Paris and it's Camilla Batak. That's the label. And the number, the color number is 102. 102 is this one. So I started with the next one. Now this is for a round neck t shirt. Um, I've decided to do a couple of patterns in a theme of Plain Jane. I don't know whether I'm going to call it Plain Jane V-neck tea or Vanilla V-neck tea. It will be either one of the two. And then there will be a couple of projects in that um, theme. The idea is absolute therapeutic knitting where you just knit without thinking too much. Um, there's no fancy stitch patterns, no cables, no whatsoever. And this is the first one in the series. And then the round neck is going to be the second one in the series. And then I'm going to do um, a cardigan with a v-neck and a cardigan with a round neck. And I'll see what else. So I'm working with this one at the moment. Makes you think of summer, doesn't it? these nice sorbet colors um, and this one is color 100 okay so this one is 100 and the other one is 102 so yeah um, I, I had a version 1 that I frogged already so this is version 2 um, yeah, I love this yarn it is so so nice to work with I really absolutely adore it anyway okay so um, I don't know how far I will get during the week, but um, I should be able to show you something more than just a yoke next week. Um, yeah. So this is what is on my needles at the moment. Everything feels damp. It's been raining for days and the towels feel damp, the clothes feel damp. The humidity is so high at the moment. <coughs> okay. Yesterday, <coughs> when we... Um, you know, uh, not yesterday, last week, I told you about the girl that said, there comes a time in your life when you attend many funerals. And lo and behold, this week, a friend of my husband passed away. And they've been friends for 38 years. So on Friday afternoon, we sat and virtually attended the, um, the life celebration. It's hard. And then yesterday afternoon when I finally got back here, there was rugby on. So I sat and I watched the rugby with my husband while I was knitting. And yesterday morning at the social, Heidi said she mentioned the place in Centurion where she could do, where there was whiskey tasting. And she mentioned the name of the place, Taste of Tennessee. And I promptly decided, you know what? I'm going to take my husband there because he loves whiskey. 
So last night I kidnapped him. I said to him, we're going up. We were going. I said, you'll see when we get there. So we went to Taste of Tennessee last night. And he could taste a whole range of different whiskies. And he thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't like whiskey. The, the, the closest I get to whiskey, I think it's a bourbon. It's Southern Comfort. I love Southern Comfort. I really do. But other than that, nah, don't like whiskey. But he thoroughly enjoyed it, so I was his driver for the evening. And we just decided this week, you know what, we have to make memories. We can't say, oh, I want to put this whiskey tasting on a bucket list. When are you going to get to the bucket list? You're going to kick the bucket before you get to the bucket list. What is on your bucket list? And why haven't you done it yet? When are you going to do it? We think... We're going to live forever, and we're not. We have to make memories now, while we have the time. Go do that thing you've been wanting to do for so many years. Go taste that dish in that fancy restaurant that you wanted to for so many years. A bucket list is a fancy way of saying I'm procrastinating and I'm never going to get to this. Do it. Do it now. While you have the time, yesterday is gone and tomorrow isn't guaranteed. We don't know if we're going to be here next week. Do it now. Do it while you have time. Time might run out before you get to your list. Buy that yarn. Do you know what? wear it. I usually reserve my little pieces of knitting for going out to fancy places or to work or whatever. And I decided, you know what, stuff this. I'll wear them on a normal day. Because the day is special. I'm alive. I might not be here tomorrow to wear it again. Why are we keeping fancy things? Fancy underwear for fancy occasions. Fancy china for fancy occasions. We might never get to use them again. Today is all we have. Go get out your bucket list and make it a to-do list before you get kick the bucket. Okay, I'll be back next week. Oh, uh, yesterday at the social I got an idea and I took out my cell phone. And I said to the first lady, back out your project back. We want to see what's in there. Must I back out everything? I said, yes. So I filmed them all. And then obviously I didn't get away. They said to me, you will sit and back out your project back. <laughs> so you can share in the fun a little bit by watching it. I'm going to put the videos on here after this one. So that you can see what people carry around in their project bags. And what the project bags look like. It's quite interesting to see the, the, the different bags that people wear, they use. And um, we are going to have this social once in a month. Now, on the second Saturday of each month, um, it will always be at Elisa's house. She's got the space for it. I don't. And um, she is such a wonderful hostess. It was so great yesterday. So... Um, if you want to join, you will have to book your place because obviously there's not that much space. But it was so much fun and it was so therapeutic. I'll see you again next week. Okay, so this is Sue. Sue is going to show us what's in her project bag. Pack it out, pack it out. I'll start with the big stuff. This is my um, test knit that I'm busy with for Hilda. I'm not good with the stuff, but there's, there it is. I travel far, so when I pack, I pack everything. This is Eck. <laughs> <laughs> this is my pattern patch, holder, thingy, whatever, my iPad. I come with my Chiagoo cables and accessories to do the changes. 
I came with a bit of extra yarn so that I can do a small swatch to see what needles I'll be doing using next time for the next project. Then we start with the chiagus. The chiagus. Sorry. The chiagus. <laughs> Um, and then I have to have all the rest. Barber cords and? Barber cords, um, tin for needles, more barber cords, another uh, stitch holders, measuring tape, stitch holders, stitch holders. I don't know why I packed those though. Um, Stitch holders. <laughs> How many stitch holders do you have? Plenty. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm terrible. Stationary and this stuff. Uh, pebble, because I might need more needles. A cozy that's going on this now. And just because I get scared that I get bored, maybe because all that I get lost and I can't continue with something, I have an extra something on the needles going. Mm. This morning. Mmm, yeah. what is that? Kid silk? Kid silk, yes. Uh, Kid silk no hair. I don't have a spare one yet, but it's, it is Magenta, is it? I think the one I used with the other thing I did. There and is. is it empty? No. Pack it <laughs> out. The bag that had the barbecue, because I couldn't find the tin. <laughs> Some needle grabbers I bought yesterday. <laughs> Apple pencil, <laughs> the lip ice. Uh -huh. um, this must still go onto the spectacles. <laughs> My jewelry, <laughs> but now it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you. Okay. Come, Elise. Check it out. Smile, oh, you're a really candid so camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's my current week. And this size bar muller. Van dit. Daar sy touw wat ek nie bezig is. Daar sy touw wat ek nie bezig is. What you understand? Dit is uh, kismetse viskousult. Dis, dis ah. nie... Ek wil gevoel het hoeveel hy. Hy brei nog as ons by een boel. Daar is my stitch, my pleisanders. Stitch makers. Pleis makers. Hier is vir die vliegveld van daar is horseflies. <laughs> 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 Elise normally knits next to the, what do you call it? If, uh, uh, the runway. The runway. The runway. The runway is my man vleeg. Okay. And that's my underroom. Hand cream. And that's my no, uh, nolde. Needles. And that's my carol work. Here is no ball that I'm going to inkom. I can't even get my little skirt. My word, word you can stab somebody with that. I can't. Hier die handskoene is so dat ek die steke kan tel, so dat as ek boord raak, ek nog een stel handskoene kan begin, as ek hier nou nie, nie kan aangaan, en dan kan ek iets anders te begin. So dit is so dat ek my steke kan tel, om nog, en, nog een paar te kan begin. Dit is my sudoka as ek moe gedraai is. <laughs> Met my sudoka penne. Um, om seker te maak wat er saai is, brei penne, ek het met die double point, dit weet wees nie altyd nie. By the way, did you know that you actually need a needle gauge specific to the brand of needles that you're using? I get after the comb that there's a difference. Mm, there's a difference. I get it after the comb that there's a difference. Yeah. They're not all perfect. All the what I do can describe for you see that I'm currently using this. You need a tablet. Yeah. En my, hier is op my plek te hou op my diagram. Dan sit ek om daar in, en ek sit om daar in, en dan weet ek waar ek is. Ongenaas. Dus een of ander reden het ek twee van hulle. <laughs> Met een pen wat ek betek hier nodig het om te merk. Een sanitizer, met die vliegveld weet mys nooit nie. Een lip ice. En een extra paar sokkies my klinkert. <laughs> En nog een behandel, maar nou is hy empty. Nice. Oma het om vir my gegeet. Hierdie is my huidige projek. 
What are you making? Excuse. What are you making? Baby jacket. Oh. My word. How many projects are you working on at once? What is that pink? What is the pink? The pink? That is a summer breeze, think I Kiss me the summer breeze. In in for my water. My maatband with my klein sien mee gespeel het. My sakke, ek het daarom iets wat in die sakke is. Even prit. What are you going to do with prit? This is lip, lip ice. Eye drops in a scissor. In a pot of eels. Project bag, which was in this one. What is so heavy in that I'll project tell you bag? Right now, there's a chewing gum. There's a tape measure. There's an umbrella. Is that your bed? Yeah, of course. It's a teacher. <laughs> There's a little project bag, what's in that? Okay, my stitch holder. Well, there's all sorts of things in there. There's a needle point holder. There's a pair of scissors. There's another tape measure. Scissors. Oh, do I have to unpack everything? Uh huh. Oh, no, no. What's this? No. <laughs> These are cable needles from my mommy. There's a crochet hook to pick up all my blocks. <laughs> uh, and other junk for bits. Yeah. And then that's what is heavy. Is my oh, yarn bowl. You're oh, traveling with a yarn bowl in your bag. Yeah, How's that? And this oh, is nice. my naughty <laughs> habit yarn. That was specially dyed for me, and I'm busy with the Sophie scarf. Nice. Now you're on. Life is a beautiful ride. So this is um, version one of a new design that will be frogged in about half an hour. I've got Nipro gingers in here. And a tin full of elastic hairbands that I use for markers. And this tin comes from Ireland. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and a tin full of stuff. Scissors and stitch markers and uh, a gauge marker. Stuff. And a book. Claire had my book, so she brought the book back. What is this? Huh? I can see that it's not honest now. It's a bit sick. Sorry, man. Batik. That's not what you don't like, is you buy me a bag. Yeah, yeah. Kamala Batik from Madame Tricol. Very nice. Isn't it nice? Yes. I love you for my boy. Ah, ah. It's so soft. Oh, and the interior is nice. Oh, show off. Oh, man, this, is oh, this is the new design that will be coming out in about a week. It's beautiful. With and Madame Pico. And it's not hard at all. Feel it. Bob, of course. And different. Crochet hook. Yeah, but that's a different taste. Tissues. Version 2 of that one that will be cropped. Oh, soon. Soon. Yes. I swap you. And cable needles for soup. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And a nail file. Sit all. And leftover from the last project. From yeah. that one. And it's leeg now. 
Yeah. And another yes. nice yes. old for you. For what? For presents. Good. <laughs> Good. <gasps> In my favorite color. Yeah. Because it's an art book.